Bienvenidos, YouTube. Uh, I had a customer come in with a KRK subwoofer. This is uh, like for a studio uh, monitoring system, which is stupid. It's all it is is a home subwoofer with like fancy uh, connectors on the back. So we uh, here's the interface. So as you can see, it does have RCAs, which is usually these guys hook up to like a computer. Uh, and then it also has a uh, uh, was it quarter inch and then XLRs. <clears throat> so we troubleshot it, and the subwoofer is good. All I did was take the amplifier plate out of the back, and uh, you can look in the back. It's just a regular old subwoofer. In fact, it's four ohm. And uh, so we tested it on this little Sherwood amplifier. Works fine. And so then what I suggested to the guy was that uh, for $60, we just swap out the amp. And so we're actually not even gonna mount it in the back because it doesn't fit right. So I picked this up at a Goodwill, garage sale, whatever. You're gonna pick it up pretty cheap, less than $60. And uh, this is gonna work fine for him. And so basically what I did was uh, um, I gave him the, uh, the XLR. XLRs can, or and I'm sorry, quarter inch. Quarter inch can be used for signal or a speaker in uh, PA, which is what they use it for. So what I did was I just got some, uh, I found a 16 gauge cord that fits right into the quarter inch. And then on the back, I just toned it out to figure out what pins were tip and which one was ring, tip being positive, ring being negative, but it doesn't matter because it's an AC signal. And then what I did was just to be sure there wasn't any other anything else in the circuit, I went ahead and cut the two signal wires that went from the uh, quarter inch into the board but, and notice that I cut them in the middle so if anybody wants to solder them back together it's pretty easy if you had cut it closer to any of the connectors especially this one it's very difficult to get to and then this one it's just tough to, to solder back together so uh, so this one is just being it's just junk I mean this toroid would be great for you know use for something else I'm sure you could use this heat sink, heat sink for something else but that's not what the customer wants so I'm just gonna put it back together uh, he was going to go down to Guitar Center and buy another one for like 365 plus tax. And I was like, dude, let me just fix this for you for 60 bucks and then you're good to go. So not everybody can afford a studio. Most studios are in people's garages and, and they work just as great. I don't know if you ever saw it. There was an episode of MTV Cribs where they had Lil John on there. Lil John was renting a mansion, which is like funny because you're like showing it off, but it's rented. And then he had a microphone and a laptop and like an old cheap like prison mattress that he was uh using to sort of uh shroud the the acoustics to 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 make the acoustics better in the corner of the living room uh you should watch that episode it's great this is what little john does to make an album so you don't need some fancy studio to make uh audio guys um there's <laughs> there's so much bullshit in audio and i hope i can bring some more stuff for you to to help you save money and even make a living so you can stay home with your family. So thanks. Uh, check out robotunderground.org where it's a, it's an outreach program for our church, uh, the Church of Zeotology. If you want to learn more about the TCAs, please just email me. Thanks. Robotunderground at yahoo.com.